In this video, there's going to be fast flights, goofing around, two-way exits, barrel rolls, and more wingsuit learning and progression. My name is Salvador Chang and I'm personally documenting a journey from somebody who's becoming a skydiver to a base jumper, then someone who is becoming a wingsuit pilot, and then eventually trying to combine all of that becoming a wingsuit pilot base jumper. This video is gonna be part of a challenge where I wingsuit every single day for 30 days, which makes a full month of wingsuit flights. If you want to see the full 30 day challenge, go ahead and smash the subscribe button moving forward so you don't miss any videos. This is going to be video number three in the series. So, so far we've done 21 skydives in 21 days. Now enough talking, let's go ahead and get this suit in the sky. Yo! All right, let's go ahead and get right into the video. This is going to be day 15. As you can see there, Brad is stoked. He's going to jump out. Yo! Man, it's so crazy to think that I jump out of planes like... I don't know. This is just so weird. Anyway, we have the speed graph up in the right hand corner. We have the speed chart in the left hand corner. And this is my exit out and out. Yo. All right. I went ahead and jumped out. As you can see here, I lost a lot of speed. I'm nice. I'm flying super flat. My arms are like almost perfect. Like this is a perfect body position. If I can figure out how to fly in this body position and then go fast, that would be amazing. But as you can see here, I'm just finding my heading, finding my bearings. And then the clouds are absolutely epic, beautiful. Now at this point, once again, we're going to fast forward. This way we can get to the spicy, the juicy, the fun parts. As you're going to see here, it's going to get spicy and juicy real quick. All right, so officially that was my first barrel roll ever. And I was actually really surprised at how smooth it went. So I think that was my right arm. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to try my left arm. So I tried my left arm. My left arm was not as smooth as my right. And I, as you can see here, I kind of lost my heading there for a second. I was, I guess I kind of stalled it. And then I was flying slow. And that's why you had like the kind of potato chipping action where I was kind of bouncing up and down. But then after that, I find my heading again and we keep it moving on forward. And now time for my deployment. I go ahead and arch and I go ahead and pitch it. We flare, 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 arch pitch, and then I slow down. No line twists, nothing spicy on this jump besides the barrel rolls. Super stoked with that. Woo! Let's go! Day 15, we're getting spicy. Day 15, getting spicy. Spice, spice, spicy, spicy. Spicy. Woo! Life is good, baby, life is good. All right, so this is gonna be day 16. I'm not sure what I was doing with my legs in that little last part of day 15. But anyway, day 16, tandems are going out. That's Lucas once again, Tandem Master. See ya, boys. All right, now it's my turn to go ahead and jump. I make sure I put my visor down. I give the pilot the okay that I'm gonna send it. Cause sometimes we'd be like the wingsuiters, we get out last and the plane's so far from the DZ that it's like, I don't know, do we need to go around? But as a wingsuiter, no, we don't need to go around because we can travel distances. So anyway, yeah, on this jump, I'm gonna be practicing more barrel rolls. So you're gonna see here, we fast forward to that. The speed is increasing. And then you'll notice as I do the barrel rolls, I guess, I don't know if I'm nervous or I'm scared, but the speed is gonna drop. That's why you see the little dip in the chart. I tried a different type of barrel roll on this one and that's why it was kind of slow. It almost happened in slow motion. And then I was like, okay, I understand how that works. Let me try the way that I did it the first time because it seemed to work pretty well. So as you see here, I'm gonna do the right hand here in just a second. I'm once again, finding my bearings, finding my heading. I do the right hand. And honestly, that barrel roll, in my opinion, is really solid. Yeah, I did bounce a little bit, but for that being, what, my third barrel roll ever, like, I'm pretty stoked with that. Once again, I try the left hand. My left hand is not as good, or the left side barrel roll is not as good as the other one. Uh, I kind of do some 360s. I try and find my heading again, and then I do. And I'm like, all right, now we need to head this way towards the DZ so I can be in my zone for when I'm ready to deploy. And as you see here, I'm flaring. Flare for flare. Grab the hacky. Pitch it. Solid deployment. Uh, kind of almost had line twist, but didn't, so I was happy on that. Woo! <laughs> Day 16, my barrel rolls were trash! <laughs> it's okay though, it's all good. We're learning, baby, we're learning. Day 16, Day 16, 16 days. Barrel rolls were trash, but we're gonna work on them moving forward. Woo! Honestly, looking back at this now, my burrow rolls weren't really that bad. I'm I'm always so hard on myself, like especially right after the jump happens. This is day 17, by the way. Especially right after the jump happens, I'm always like my worst critic. I'm always the hardest on myself. I always am pushing myself to do better, be better, be the best version of myself. So obviously, I was like, oh, my barrel rolls were trash. But in the grand scheme of things, for those being my third or fourth barrel rolls, they were not bad at all. So this is going to be a little two-piece exit. I mean, it's not officially a two-piece exit, but Luis jumped out, and then I didn't wait like the 
the typical five or six seconds that you're supposed to wait. And I just kind of jumped out right after him. I told him I was going to do it. And he's like, yeah, that's fine. Not a problem. And then I made sure to keep my distance away from him. If you can go ahead and see him, he's like far out there. And I was like, yeah, we're, we're opening in different areas. I just want to go ahead and get a feel of what it's going to feel like if I'm by you in the door and we're going to exit together. And now this is just kind of a funny thing that I wanted to do. I wanted to, I mean, people are always making jokes. They're like, if you flap your wings, do you think you can gain altitude? (laughs) So anyway, I was up there and I was like, I wonder what happens if I do flap my wings. Like, am I going to get unstable? Is everything going to be fine? But as you saw there, I was flapping my wings like a bird. And in fact, I don't know if you can tell by the GPS chart. I mean, it doesn't show altitude, but it shows speed. But I think I did, in fact, gain some altitude. So I'm going to have to try that. And maybe next time I can spend like maybe an afternoon up there. If I just flap hard enough, I think I could spend the whole afternoon up there. But that was a solid deployment. Day 17! Woo! Day 17! Chicka, 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 chicka! Day 17! That was great! So as you can clearly see as we're going into day 18, the stoke was real. Day 18. And as you can also tell, I'm sure, in the top left hand and right hand corner, we are not moving at 145 or 100... Yeah, whatever that's saying right now. That is way too fast. So uh, the GPS is busted as we're jumping out of the Twin Otter. Man, I love that plane. And the views on this one are beautiful. Look at that plane dive. Oh my God, that's so crazy. I can't believe I do this. Anyway, clearly we're not going 230 miles an hour, 40 miles an hour. Man, a top speed of 250 miles an hour, I wish. Anyway, clearly we're not going that fast. The GPS is busted, but on this one, I did want to try some back flying. So you're going to see here, I just kind of still not knowing what I'm doing at all. I haven't got any coaching yet, but I need to get coaching. Once again, I'm just doing this 30 day challenge so I can feel comfortable in the wingsuit and not have anxiety whenever I jump out of the plane. And I'm pretty sure that I accomplished that already. I feel great. I feel comfortable. I feel confident, but I just want to make sure I, any situation I put myself into in the wingsuit, I'm comfortable in it. So for instance, what happens if you get on your back? And that's what I'm trying to kind of prepare for. But as you see here, I'm kind of planning out. I'm about to flare. My hair is coming out of my helmet for some reason. And I kind of dipped my shoulder there, but thank God there was no line twist and everything was peaches and cream moving forward. Holy crap. My deployment was trash. <laughs> Woo! We're good though, we're alive baby, life is good! <laughs> that was sick! Oh my god, things got a little spicy on that one! Jesus Christ! Day 18, spicy jump! We stood on our back for a long time on that one, at least it felt like a long time. I couldn't really control my direction, I'm gonna have to talk to somebody about that. And then moving forward, we'll fix it. Got some speed, everything was good. Day 18, baby, let's keep it rolling. Yoo! All right, so now moving into day 19. Once again, that's gonna be Lucas, and then he just exited with the tandem, and that's gonna be me and Luis. So day 19, he checks in with me. I wanted to be right on his hip on this one, so I made sure when he jumped out, I would jump out. I was like, man, we'll do a little two-piece nugget exit. So that's what we did. We jumped out of the pack. No, that wasn't pack. The caravan. We jumped out of the caravan. As you can see here, Luis is off. He's doing his own thing. Once again, we weren't trying to like fly together because, yeah, our jump numbers are not that high. We don't have the skill level to do that. But we just wanted to exit together. And then as you see, he goes his way, I go my way, and we just kind of do our own thing. So the exit was solid in my opinion. And then once again, we're just flying or I'm flying fast. I wish the GPS was working this way. The speedometer was working and I could see actual data. I wanted to do one where I fly fast. I kind of flatten out and I flare. That's what that was. And then once again, I go back into flying fast. Now on this one, the visuals are beautiful. I feel like an astronaut. Look at the clouds. It's just, man, honestly, life is unreal. And each and day like that goes by, it's just getting better and better and better. My deployment on this one, if I remember correctly, is solid. So flare for flare, pitch. And then you'll see I have a like slight line twist and that must have been the way that I packed it or maybe something else because that deployment was solid. Like I was nice and symmetrical. <laughs> Whoa, that was quite the opening. <laughs> Woo! Jesus Christ. Day 19. Little two piece exit. And then we went our separate ways. Everything was good. That was beautiful. A lot of fun. Yeah, Luis. Woo! Let's go. 
All right, moving into day 20. As you can see here, we got the GPS on the GoPro working again. That's Chandler doing a high pull. As you saw, he literally jumped out and pitched his pilot shoot. So day 20, here we are. We have the chart in the left-hand corner, the speedometer in the right-hand corner. I'm stoked on this because we have actual data. This is what I wanted. I had to reset my GoPro, but we got the data and it's working, boys. Let's go. All right, we're jumping out of the pack. As you can see there, the pack is diving. I love that visual so much of jumping out and watching the plane dive in order to go get the, the next set of jumpers. Just an amazing view anyway but as you see here i'm like okay how do i go faster how do i go faster i personally haven't found a way maybe i mean obviously i don't know i need to talk to somebody because i haven't found a way to fly fast without putting my arms back but i know in an ideal situation you should be able to fly fast without having your arms swept back that much like my arms are in a dehedral which is really not flying efficiently it's not what you want but anyway i was flying really fast and then i slowed down because i was like man i'm really cooking it i wasn't sure how fast i was probably like 130 something but anyway, that was a new high for me. I was super stoked on that. And at this point, I was like, all right, let me just cruise for the rest of the jump because uh, it's kind of stressful. Oh, psych. Never mind. I threw in a barrel roll <laughs> and I wanted to kind of spice it up with the camera angle there. So there is the barrel roll. And now I'm like, all right, let me just kind of relax for the rest of the jump and then until it's time for deployment. As you can see here, my arms are really far back. They should not be that far back, just as an FYI for anybody who's watching. So here's the flare. Flare, 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 flare. Pitch oh little baby bird pitch what was that ideally that's not what we want but there you there you go Woo! let's go <laughs> Woo! let's go baby let's go day 20. that felt amazing it was a lot of fun hell yeah i'm loving this wingsuit situation yes day 20. dude i am feeling comfortable Let's go. Woo! All right, so moving into day 21, that's going to be John Horbowski. He's going to be jumping out of the, uh, yeah, the pack. You don't see a, he's doing a high pull. Anyway, as you can tell, I'm feeling really comfortable. That was the whole point of this challenge was to feel more comfortable in a wingsuit. I'm pretty stoked on the way that things are going. So here I go. I hop out of the uh, pack. And then as you see there, the pack is diving. Now I'm looking for his canopy because I remember he's like, hey, I'm doing a high pull. It's going to be a bright orange canopy. Look for me. If you want to do a flyby, I mean, you could. I'm not opposed to it. So I was like, all right, I'll definitely take you up on that. As you can see here, my skill level is not up to, <laughs> not even up to the plate. Anyway, so I'm looking over at him. I'm like, yeah, that's not going to happen. I'm not even going to come close. So I'm kind of sad. So I do a barrel roll just to make myself feel a little more happy about that. <laughs> but as you'll see, if you go ahead and click the subscribe button moving forward in next week's video, we get a solid flyby. And he even came by down and he was like, dude, that was sick, which it was. So you'll see it in next week's video. But anyway, we locked in the flyby. And now this is me yelling on deployment. every single day Woo! let's go baby life is beautiful day 21 once again guys go ahead and smash the subscribe button below so you don't miss the last video of the series that's a full 30 days a full month last video don't miss it next week go ahead and subscribe once again and then also go ahead and share this video with anybody who loves extreme sports or who's interested in skydiving or maybe interested in and wingsuiting, go ahead and share that with them. And then moving forward, go ahead and like the video because it helps the YouTube algorithm. And then last but not least, guys, go ahead and watch this video right here. This is gonna be me starting my skydiving journey. This is gonna be me doing my AFF course or accelerated free fall course. Go ahead and check that video out right there. Go ahead and click that one.